In this video, we are going to see how to use the find command to query documents. So let's start MongoDB. We are within the Mongo shell now. And check the databases that we have, and we are going to work within the Cooker database. So we go inside Cooker. And we are within Cooker now. We also have a bunch of collections already. And today we're going to focus on this recipes collection. So we know that collections in MongoDB, it works kind of like how tables work in SQL. And to kind of correlate, using find, that command is kind of like the select statement in SQL. In this video, we are going to see how to use find to query the recipe documents and find specific recipes. So let's start. So db, the name of the collection. So db recipes. Then find. And if we keep it empty, we are going to get all the documents that are within this recipe collection. So we get everything as output. Of course, it doesn't look very good, but we got everything out. If you wanted to format this a little bit better, we could do that. So find and pretty. So the pretty command is going to format the output in a much better way. Also, please note here that I added pretty after find using just this dot, and this is called chaining which means that I can chain these multiple commands together in MongoDB. And we are using the Mongo shell. It works like a JavaScript shell. So we can do that. Now we also kept the find command. The argument is empty there. So we are getting everything out. So for now, if I do this, I got all the output, but in a formatted way. Let's try to find something specific now, because so far we kept find empty. If I go inside find, and I start these braces here, and I specify that I want documents with a title tacos. And those are strings, I add these quotes. So what I'm trying to do is I want to find all the documents with the title tacos. So if I do this, I got one document out. So this was my command and I got one document out. So this document, of course, at the very beginning has ID and this ID is a unique ID generated by MongoDB automatically. This number here, it also includes the date and time in an encoded way, which can be useful during if you want to filter something out or sort. We also have the title, which is tacos. So that's what we wanted to know. We have the cook time, the calories per serving, directions, ingredients, ratings, and there are different data types. So some of these, these, these are array. You also have the ingredients. These are objects within objects. You could also have integers. Uh, strings like type dinner so different types of data in the same document so what we did was we found out all the documents that we have with the title tacos we had only one document another thing that we could do is so we can use multiple conditions so for instance I specify I want documents with title tacos I could add another condition to this. So to do that, I can add comma. And maybe I want all the documents with cook time 20. Right now, we just have one document with taco because we are still going to get just one document back, which has the title tacos and cook time 20. If I were to change the cook time to something else, so let's say 10, I should not get anything back because then 
no document satisfies both these criteria so that's how we can use multiple conditions i could change the cook time to something else so maybe i can say i want all the documents with type lunch i should not get anything back so nothing back if i change lunch to dinner i get this back so this was a way to add conditions in my kind of like filter let's try an another thing so i right now i'm getting all this information back and maybe i'm not interested to see all this information i want to narrow down the fields i want to see i want to return so i could do that as well using find so this time what i have to do is after this brace i add another filter so this time i am specifying what i want this program to return so let's say i want just the title back so i do title then one what this means is one here means yes so i want just the title back if i did that so i got the result but only the title i could also change it to something like rating and i would get only the rating back you could also exclude fields so instead of having one if i change it to zero that means i do not want rating i want everything else so if i run this command i'm gonna get everything else except rating so that's what i got we could also get this exact same thing so if i keep this empty so the first argument we had some conditions there if i keep that empty what's gonna happen is i'm telling mongo to return all the documents and maybe only their ratings back so this is what this command indicates so i kept the first argument empty so we got only the rating back for all the documents i could maybe change this a little bit so just go back and maybe i want just the title back so we got all the documents and the titles so let's remove pretty actually this probably look better yeah so we got all the documents but only the titles back one last way to use regular expressions another way to filter different documents is specifying partial title so how do we search using only a partial title and this is actually a lot more common right so when a user is searching for something maybe he does not know the exact title of documents like maple smoked salmon he might want to just search with salmon not maple so this is how searching works in most real life situations so we are going to do that we already discussed that this is we are using javascript type commands so we can use these regular expressions or regex in our searching so let's see how we could actually use this command so we do find and we are specifying the title now instead of giving the exact title what i'm gonna do is I write regex so that means i'm gonna match regular expression and then i write just taco and then i so small i that means it is going to be case insensitive i close the braces and then i want just the title back so let's not have anything else back so title equals one and then i'm gonna close find so let's explain again so what we are trying to do is i'm trying to match all the documents with title taco so we have tacos here 
although the t is capital but it's that's fine because this is case insensitive we also have another document chicken soft tacos so i should get both of them back and that's what happened so we did a regular expression match we could also instead of saying ta and we still got this back because ta was matched to these two documents titles so this is another way to get find to search for particular documents in the collection or database you could see other ways to use the find command in the manual that i linked so the official mongodb manual has been posted on canvas thank you